Hey guys, before we get to this week's show, I got one question for you. Are you tired of the life you're living? If the answer to that question is yes, me and a friend of mine have put together a free masterclass that talks about how to get out of that rat race, how to change your life and get from where you're at to out here on the blue water. If that's something you're interested in, we're putting this out on Sunday, December 5th at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Click on the link below in the description and you will be able to enroll in that free master class. It's going to be one to two hours long. It's going to be a great class. Remember, put it on your calendar, December 5th, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to talk about all things blue water, all things it takes to get from that couch, that cubicle, that hamster wheel out here in the blue water. So once again, guys, we look forward to seeing you out there and we hope you enjoy this week's episode. first arrived in these absolutely stunning Maldives Islands, we were greeted to the warmest of welcomes by the locals. Hey guys. Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the island of Muli, and this family hosted us the entire time we were here. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come here. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum is the traditional Maldivian greeting and means hello, or technically peace be unto you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So where is the grocery store? Market. Which one? The corner store? Vegetables and vegetables and fruit. They also gave us the lowdown on where to go to get the things we needed. All right, guys. Yeah. All right. the boat. Excellent. So let's go to the market and find some vegetables and groceries. It's been a little slim pickings because of the monsoons. The delivery boats haven't uh, been able to deliver fresh produce out here. So hopefully there's some today. We got my bags. I got my coverings. You got your face mask? Yeah, it's in my bag. They're pretty serious here about the masks. There's no hospital. The nearest hospital is two hour, a two hour boat ride away in Mali. And so they're, they're pretty serious about wearing masks. Uh -huh. almost like a ghost town here during the day and I guess even in the evenings it's pretty quiet a lot of the locals almost all the locals the men work over at the resorts and so they're not here but uh, the streets are clean and quiet and uh, not very bustling like I mentioned before all the tourists are at the resorts and so there's not really anybody milling around You had some fish? Uh -huh. Hello? No, that was... Something else? It looks about the same as it did a couple days ago. No. No. I think the first guy's store had the best selection. I think so. He had potatoes and yeah. limes and stuff. Yeah. One? I mean, one potato. Thank you. Yeah, one wheel. I can't afford two. Yeah, sure. <laughs> two wheels expensive. Yeah. We had some of our local friends that we just met come over last night. Uh, they wanted to see the boat. They invited us to their place for dinner a few nights ago. It was really nice. And uh, Keith got to ask him all kinds of questions about uh, Islam and the practices and everything. And we were asking about if the women get hot. <laughs> in their hijabs and their full coverings out here. And 
the mom the moms are standing there and they're like no no it's all good and the little girls are standing there and <laughs> this one little girl is like yes i get hot it was so cute but keith got to ask all the questions that he had about their culture and their life here it was really interesting i should have filmed it but i was a little uh i don't know i just felt disrespectful to film it all one thing that I find really interesting about this culture is that they don't drink. I guess Muslims um, don't don't drink, or the, at least here in the Maldives, there's no alcohol on the island, just in the resorts, and there's no smoking. There's no like cigarette butts anywhere. It's interesting. It's a, a different culture than when you than we're used to, especially on an island, because the island cultures are usually full of drinking and promiscuity and smoking and people gallivanting around. It's not like that here. Gallivanting. Gallivanting. No good? Yeah. Good? Good. That one will last a couple of days. Right. Yellow yeah, one? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, Green one's good if there's no, no that one's not good. No. No. Uh, maybe yeah. No, I guess. That's good. That's good. Oh no, these green apples really look good. Yeah. Will you eat a green apple? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just All onions come from India? Yeah. In the Maldives? Potatoes? India? Potatoes. Okay. How long did they come by boat or by plane? Uh, some from boat and some from plane. I also grabbed some frozen chicken breasts and canned goods and we filled up our bags. We spent 1500 rufia, which is about 100 US dollars. This is my friend Amron. <laughs> he gave me a ride. Keith is over there. Oh, we had to go to the bank. We had to get some more rufia. Your debit card and ATM machines are the best way to get local currency. They're literally everywhere. So you want to big old puppies? Go get some chum. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that. Oh, son of a gun! He's right there. We learned a few days later that the reason for the stingray gathering was a local fishery that regularly cleans their fish right here. So we decided to steer clear of snorkeling here.
All right, so we are about 30 miles south of Molly. We stopped at this place. It's a, it's called Shark Point or something, and we stopped there. They've got tons of nurse sharks there. I mean, big nurse sharks, and they, there's like 20, 30, 40, 50 of them, and they just group in right here, and we're fixing to go swim with those bad boys. <laughs> and then in the morning, we'll be off to Molly. Kate's like, ah. Come on, Ben, do Ben. Nurse sharks are slow moving bottom dwellers and are, for the most part, harmless to humans. However, they can be huge, up to 14 feet, and have very strong jaws filled with thousands of tiny serrated teeth. And will bite defensively if stepped on or bothered by divers who assume they're docile. We're at Holy Molly. We're going to the Anchorage here, and we're going to check that out and see how that is. If not, we're going to keep on going back down to around uh, the next little lake hole south of here to find a nice anchorage until we leave. Disconnect. 
connected. It is? Yeah. Ah. I'll fix that. I can't hear anything you're saying. Hello. Keep us from hitting the reef. Yeah. What are you saying? I want you to check the depth of the water. What's that? It's down there on the generator. Right. I want you to uh, jump in the water uh -huh. and check that keel. Okay. Don't get chopped up. No. Just when everything is going good and we decided to pull up next to this catamaran and drop anchor, it was too shallow and we scraped against a bomby. Coincidentally, the starboard side engine control stopped working at the same time. So it was quite chaotic for a few minutes. What happened? Uh, and I just came off the, the, the shifter. Everything look good down there? Sorry? Did it look good? Yeah, it's fine. Just paint. With Jack confirming there was no damage to the keel, Keith was able to fix the throttle problem, and we were back in business. I'm going to just drop the hook on the sand. I'm going to nose up to it, and then we're just going to drop it right there on the sand. On the edge of it? Yeah, and then drop back. I like it. Set it on the edge of the wall. Fine. It'll fall down if we drag on it, tug on it. We've seen what this is. We've seen what this this has got. We decided we really didn't like that anchorage, so we moved to a different one. It's all right. I think we're good, Dad. What do you think? Yeah, we're good? Good. Sweet. Yeah. Jack, we're gonna go to the store or try to find a store. Yeah. It's gonna be about two hours. Okay. We gotta go get the parts for the boat that I ordered, and we gotta go by the airport, get our seats booked, and then we go to the markets. Mm -hmm. Now, for some reason, we come on drag, take the bridle off, mm -hmm. and uh, just roll up the anchor, and then just tread water. Just go up north here, stay away from these bomb shallows and just tread water. Right here, that's mom's. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a radio, y'all. Ran out of data. Finn is gonna drop us off at the dinghy dock because there's just nowhere to park your dinghy. That anchorage is crazy. I can go to this right here. Yeah. It is so hot. I decided not to wear yoga pants, but I wore a, a t-shirt that covers my shoulders. I hope that they don't look down on me because I didn't cover my legs today, but it is so hot. Alright, Ben. Turn that one on 72. Okay. How much to go to Mali? Uh, 75 rupees. Okay. here. Yeah. Okay, that's 
to get fine. Yeah, we got everything we need. So here's the water pump. Tune in next week as Keith gets down to the nitty gritty of boat repairs. Dr. Whitaker, Paging Doctor, we have got the bullet out. <laughs>